Well, we have been talking about this heat wave for about a week now, and it is almost here. Three days of triple digit temperatures are set to sweep across the metro area and beyond, and it may affect your day in ways you might not be expecting. We will get to the forecast in just a minute, but we're going to start with team coverage. KGW's Nina Melhoff talked with food cart owners debating whether to close up shop or suffer through this extreme heat. But we'll start with Christine Pitawanich. And Christine, 100 degree heat plus might mean our daily commutes are slower than usual. Laurel Joe, this kind of heat that we're expecting this week could put a cramp in your commute, especially if you rely on public transportation. Just a couple of hours ago, TriMet tweeted out that they lowered the speeds in high speed areas for their max trains because of 90 plus degree weather. And if we hit 100 degrees, trains throughout the system would slow down. Not fun. It's going to be hot, somewhat miserable, but I'm trying to like just stay in the air conditioning and water. The heat that's expected to soar to past the 100 degree mark could mean delays for Mary Houston and other people using public transportation. At above 90 degrees, max trains in high speed areas will slow. But as temperatures go up, speed goes down. It's really when it gets hotter than that, much hotter, 95, 100, and 100 is the threshold for really reducing the speeds throughout the system. 100 degrees means max trains system wide will not go faster than 35 miles an hour. Delays of about 15 minutes or so are expected. On the max system in extreme temperatures, the overhead wires, which are made of copper, can actually sag. And the rails that are made of steel can, in some areas, actually expand as well. That's why train operators have to slow down. And for people who use the West trains between Beaverton, Tigard, Tualatin, and Wilsonville, temperatures higher than 105 degrees mean trains will stop. Shuttles would be used instead. Sounds like there's going to be a lot of cranky people. To and just last month, the Hawthorne Bridge was stuck in the up position for several hours, likely due to heat. Don Hamilton with ODOT says there's no history of problems with bridges in heat, but they will be keeping an eye out. If we get into this record setting heat that we've got out here, we're going into areas where we're really not certain what we're going to be looking at out there. Houston is already planning extra time for her commute. And as for 16 month old Olivia, when asked if she liked the heat, this was her response. No. no. <laughs> I think the majority of us feel the same way as little Olivia there. TriMet officials say the MAX system was built to operate in temperatures that are considered average, and the heat this week is not average. As for the Portland streetcar, I did speak with representatives there, and they tell me they do not expect to have any major complications from the heat. Back to you. Fingers crossed. All right. Thanks, Christine.